there is something to be said for persistence. I'm the Body Smith, and today we will flash back to the genesis of the Body Smith workout. When the Body Smith Show was born in the mid-80s, I was a 20-something. Now I qualify for the senior discount. Remember Karen? She was an original Body Smith cast member going back to 1985 when she was a 20-year-old. And here she is today. Come on in, Karen. We invite you to join us for this blast to pass Body Smith workout. May we have the music, please. All right, Karen, you ready to go? Okay, march it out. Now, Karen, a few things have changed since 1985. Step touch. She has been responsible for five children, aging, ranging in age from early 30s to the last one still in high school. Now we were going to try to get Karen here last month, but her high school daughter was in the state cheerleading competition. And four more, three, two, legs apart, reach up, reach and extend. So Karen herself was a regular cast member from 1985. The Body Smith actually didn't start until 1986, but we did some shows with another production prior to that under the name of The Body Smith. Now reach across. And then I think you continued on until, oh, maybe 1990 or 91. And then I had Karen do a comeback on our 10th anniversary special. Both arms, push it out. And then we did one more show up at Fort Vancouver Officers Row. And she's been kind of retired from this. She's coming out of retirement just for this occasion. Now I should also mention for our 30th anniversary show, Karen was gonna be here. Now circle one arm back, then the other. And I got a call the night before. She was having to fly off to Hawaii. Her daughter had, was it your daughter? Yeah, her daughter had had a baby a little earlier than expected. Four more. So finally, she was able to make time to be here. Now reach up, palms up, reach forward. And I kind of got, what was it? Maybe three years ago, two or three years ago, I was reading the Gresham Outlook newspaper and there was Karen receiving an award for volunteerism and we got in touch at that point. And she is, she and her husband are running an automotive repair business. And what's it called? All about automotive and alignment. Say that three times in a row, right in Gresham. Now swing it out and lift those heels. It's a hamstring curl. I don't think I will try to say that. All about, just look at, look under the A's if you need a good car repair service. Four more, three, and two. Let's do bicep curls. Just getting warmed up here. And side leg press. Warm up the hip joints. Well, does it feel any different? I know. We're doing an indoor show. We used to do a lot of outdoor shows together. Legs apart. Now swing it out. One arm at a time. Reach out. I think during our first year in 1986, we used this song from the soundtrack of Footloose. You know, knowing Karen was here, I really should have gotten 
something from the Prince Purple Rain album because she used to teach classes to that. Figure eight, figure eight the arms. But however, there are a couple of songs on here I remember specifically when we used back in the day. Two more. Last one. Now reach forward with a squat and back. You're gonna sit back, keep the knees pretty much over the ankle for this one. And four more. Somehow though, 30 some years later, this song seems like it's longer than it was. All right, let's hold it here, breathe in. Put the hands above the knees, flat back, and round that back toward the ceiling. Again, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time. All right, let's come on up, march it out. Let's get ready to do some cardio. We're gonna keep it pretty simple and reminiscent of the 80s choreography that we used to do when Karen and I first appeared in 1985. I'm dating you, Karen, this is, even though she's only 36 right now. Now, step touch. All right, very good. We'll start with something easy. And the song, it's actually a medley between two songs. Let's scoop it up, scoop it up. The first one, High Energy, we use in our April 1986 show. Do you remember that? <laughs> take it forward and take it back. Scoop it back. Scoop it forward. Scoop it back. Now do it again. So that show, we were originally planning to do our first outdoor show. April, guess what happened? It rained. So we moved it indoors. Two steps to the side. One, two. Good, has it sped up or have I slowed down in the last 30 some years? Keep going. Oh, Karen, she says, do I want the answer to that? Uh, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. All right, here comes scoop forward. Two steps back. Scoop it forward. Two steps back. Scoop it forward. I always did like this song, High Energy. Two Steps Back by Evelyn Thomas. Scoop it forward. She was a gospel singer in New Orleans. Let's bring it back. Try a couple more. And two steps back. And then she went into this kind of music, kind of pseudo disco. Her church kicked her out. Oh my gosh. Now squat to the side, to the other side. Squat. Poor Evelyn Thomas. I don't know if I ever heard this on the radio. It was on the dance charts. All right, let's do three more. Step touch, scoop forward. Two steps back, scoop it forward. Two steps back, scoop it forward. Two steps back, scoop it forward. Well, Karen, is it like riding a bike? Haha, <laughs> really? Scoop forward, not quite as smooth. Bring it back. If you didn't hear earlier, Scoop Forward Karen is making her comeback. It's been 22 years since she has been on this show. Squat to the side, the other side.
All right, three more. One more. Step touch, scoop it forward. Two back. Scoop forward. Two steps back. Squat to the side. I think we used to use a lot more impact in the 80s, didn't we? <laughs> One more. Step touch. Scoop it forward. Two steps back. Scoop forward. And two steps back. Easy enough so far. Squat to the side. Very good. One more. Step touch. Scoop forward. We're going to go for it now. Put it all together. Two steps back. And squat. One more. Step touch. Scoop forward. Two steps back. There's another song in here we're listening to. Squat, You Make Me Feel Mighty Real. That was a big one. Step touch. Scoop forward. I'm gonna do this one more time. Two steps back. And squat to the side. One more. Step touch. Scoop forward. Last time on this side. Two steps back, and then we're going to add something in. Squat to the side. One more. Step touch. We're going to do three repeater knees to the corner on the fourth one. Step back in. Here we go. Step. Here's another one we worked out to a few years back. Pump up the jam. Was that salt and pepper? I can't quite remember. Let's scoop forward. Two steps back. And squat to the side. I get that mixed up with that other one. I All right. Step touch. Repeater knees. Let's go. Three, two, one. We'll call it salt and pepper. All right, let's give it four more. Three to go. Two more. Last one. All right, let's scoop it forward. Two steps back. And squat to the side. Step touch. Repeaters over here. Step back. All right, from here on, we're just going to perfect what we already know. Scoop forward. Two steps back. And squat. Step touch. Repeaters over here. Now remember, if you need more, you're going to take bigger steps and also use more arms and upper body. Scoop it forward. Two steps back. Squat to the side. Step touch. Repeater. Knees. Four. Step over on the four. All right. I think we got this one. One more time. And scoop forward. Scoop. Two steps back. Squat. Step touch. Repeaters. Go. Three, two, one.
One more time. All right, get ready for scoop. Maybe for the last time, scoop forward. Two steps back. Squat. One more. Step touch. Repeaters, go. Two, one, step over. All right, two more. Now, we're going to bring it down just a little bit here. Let's step touch. Let's take the arms up and over. Bring it down. Get that pulse rate down just a little bit so we can do some of our upper body strengthening work. Now, circle like you're stirring. Four more. All right, legs apart, swing it out. Good work. You made it through the hardest part, Karen, after all these years. All right, breathe in. Exhale out. Let's go one more, breathe in. Exhale out, you wanna follow me back over here, we'll get some uh, resistance material. And I think I'll even do a drink of water. There you Okay, here we are. Now I think when Karen was doing this with us, we hadn't e actually evolved yet to doing weights and things like that. So we will launch Karen on her weight odyssey today here as we lift weights. Okay, let's do bicep curls up and down. Push it, that's the other thing I was, you know, push it real good. Was that salt and pepper? I don't know. It's all on the internet and you know, anything on the internet would have to be true. If you see it on the internet, it's true. I think though, most of the time we perspire uh, slightly more. We're gonna slow it down a little bit when we're indoors, because outdoors, at least usually there's a breeze. Okay, let's turn to one side. We're gonna push down, pull up through the upper back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Although when we were doing outdoor shows, I remember at least a few occasions where you have to plan ahead. You can't just say, oh, I think we'll go and do shows tomorrow. And there were times when it was over 100 degrees and we were out in the sun exercising. So Karen, what do you think your most fun Body Smith excursion was when we used to do the outdoor shows? Oh, Sun River. Yes, we got free rooms. All right, let's hold it to the center and let's row it up to the shoulders. Let's go, just row it up. So Sun River was one of them, and I think we did that in 1991. And do you have other favorites? Pittock Mansion, we did that one in 1986. Now, I think that was the one, you probably wouldn't remember the name, but Elaine Busby was a local television personality. She came to our classes, and so we said, Elaine, would you like to be in it with us? And so here we had this celebrity, everybody I knew on one of our first shows. And we also had arranged for a limousine to take us to and from, remember that? It's memory lane. Gosh, we're sounding like a bunch of old people. <laughs> and one more time. All right, let's hold it right here. Let's put the weights right here in front turn the legs apart, we're gonna squat. Ready, down, one, two, and up. Squeeze together. You've still got the abdominal muscles engaged. Pulled in, that's a fancy way of saying, pull in your abdominals. Or if we really wanted to say it modern-like, we could say, keep that core engaged. And 
release. Let's put one weight down where you can see it. Now we're gonna take one weight in front, bend the knees so the hips don't move, and turn that weight to the side, to the hip. We're listening to Chaka Khan. Whatever happened to Chaka Khan? Let's take it from the hip to the shoulder area. So you're turning the shoulders, the lower body's not moving, and this is giving us some work throughout the core. The fancy marketing name for the trunk or the torso. Two more. And then we're gonna change sides, going from high to low on the other side too low. I remember when this used to be the theme of the Oprah Winfrey show. <laughs> Very good. And bring it back to the center. Wood choppers come from the eyebrow level down on through. And this helps strengthen the lower back and the glutes, a little bit in the shoulders, rear deltoids. To the side, extend it up and down, up. If that becomes difficult to control, you can slow it down you have the option of extending the leg to the outside, doing some strengthening muscles, strengthening exercises for the muscles surrounding the hip joint, and also working on balance. <sighs> there we go. Four more. Two more. Let's put these weights somewhere where we will not step on them. Let's put them back over here. You always want to have a stretching area free of obstacles. All right, pull the abdominal muscles in once again. Breathe in. Exhale out. And one more time, breathe in. And exhale out. Let's take the arms forward, pull the shoulder blades open. This song came from a very popular album during the early days of the Body Smith workout. Tina Turner, private dancer, when she made her big comeback after being in the obscurity of singing in Reno for years. Okay, bring it back open. She kind of did really well on her comeback. So, Ike Turner, what happened to him? Well, I saw, so we're opening the chest and shoulders. He was sued by an iCat on Judge Judy several years after that. Okay, take one arm up, guide it back toward the shoulder, and stretch the triceps and the shoulders. He lost his case, but, and then, not long after that, he died. I think Tina made out better than he did. Now the other side, bring it back, stretch it out. Doing some exercises here to get those muscles back into a more supple, flexible state. Let's come out legs apart. Stretch fairly wide apart, at least hip width. Take the knees over the ankle on the one side. Stretch the inner thigh and the groin on the other one. Now reach up. Now back in the 80s when Karen was a regular cast member, we used to get letters about her. Guys saying, is she available? Other side. And reach. To which Karen remarked, that's rather embarrassing. <laughs> I think at the time you weren't available anyway. Who knows? 
Okay, let's do a runner's lunge. We're gonna take one leg forward, slide the other leg back, the knees over the ankle, reach up. And for our closing segment, we're actually going to put some pictures on of us doing our 1986 aerobics. All right, now the other side. Let's bring it back and reach up. And tighten the gluteus maximus on that side. It helps push the hip forward, give you a little better stretch. And step a little halfway in, extend forward, bending it forward from the hip joint. The chest is still open and reach forward. Stretch the hamstrings and the glutes. Here comes that existential question. Why do people break up, turn around and make up? All right, let's bring it back to the other side. I wonder that sometimes when I go into a grocery store and I see couples arguing about, do we need butter? But honey, we have plenty. And then he puts it in the cart anyway. And she says, whatever. And he says, what do you want from me? All right, breathe in. Exhale out. Thanks for being with us, and thanks for Karen for making her comeback after many years of being absent. It's good to see you. And enjoy some shots of years past. say